Hey, what's going on everyone? Design Coma here. Welcome back. And the game player watching is me and my friends playing some Division. So, what's up for today's video? Well, I'll get into that in here in a little bit, but I just kind of want to say that uh, the reason there is the Division in this video is because I, I do have to say I'm not strictly a Call of Duty channel. And hopefully you've seen that. I do post other gameplay footage of other games that I play if I feel like capturing it. And I happen to capture some uh, footage of the Division right around the time that we got it and you know I just thought I'd use it for a video and I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay and I, I actually enjoy the game but we've taken a little bit of a break from it because it is a little repetitious but I'm not really here to do a review on it either so but uh, we, we've taken a break from it and we've uh, we've kind of played some other games last weekend though we, we we did play some Black Ops 3 but we kind of just did some bots and stuff we just wanted to go in there and just mess around and we didn't want to really mess up any anybody's multiplayer gameplay or anything like that so we just played some bots but I'm gonna show some of that footage because we did some really ridiculous stuff to what I'm gonna talk about is this guy okay this guy lives in Canada I, I suppose I can give his name his name is Ed Whitlock and if you google Ed Whitlock you're gonna find out that this guy is very well known in the running world Okay, now in a previous video, in a couple of previous videos, I did mention that I am training for the Detroit Marathon, and that's true, it's completely true, and I can tell you this, the training alone for that marathon, and I do it once a year, so far this is my third year, and the training for the full marathon is very time consuming. I'm talking, right now it's just base training, so it's, it's pretty simple stuff, you just go out and run, run a few miles, like I think the most miles I'll be running is five or six during the base training so once official training the full blown training comes up that's when time is gonna get really tight and my schedule is gonna get tight I'm gonna have to try and pack all my videos into one day and get them all done in the one day but that, that's how intensive the training schedule can be now now this guy Ed Whitlock alright he has set a world record now he went out and ran a half marathon in one hour 50 minutes and 47 seconds now that's a pretty good time for just about anybody who's running but here's the thing this is what I need to let you know about about this guy he's 85 years old they say 85 years young in in the article but he's 85 years old and he ran that half marathon in Waterloo Ontario and it's a new world record for the uh, the male runner age 85 to 89 so <laughs> this is pretty amazing when I read about stories like this, this is just incredible. When, when I read something like this, I think it's just the, it's not the most incredible thing, but it is pretty darn incredible. And he was actually a little bit upset with the time. Can you believe that? He was he was actually upset with the time. He he felt he could have ran faster than that than what than what he actually ran. He was thinking that. Now here's a couple other things that that Ed did at, at 73. He ran a full, that's 26.2 miles in case you don't know, a full marathon in 2 hours, 54 minutes and 49 seconds at 73. It's pretty awesome. At 80, he ran another marathon in 3 hours, 15 minutes and 54 seconds. Now that's pretty impressive for, for an 80 year old man. I mean, it, it took me to run a full marathon. Well, my first full marathon took me a little over 6 hours. The second time I ran it, it was uh, a little bit over five, a little over five. I did best my time, and I'm hoping to best my time again this year. Some other things that they go on to talk about is when they asked him why he runs, he basically didn't give a long, drawn-out answer that most people would do or most runners do. Like, if you were to ask me why I run, I'd give you this long, drawn-out thing and, and everything like that. And he basically just says, you know what, I'm just a creature of habit, and I just go out there and run. <laughs> That's pretty much what he does. And when it comes to training, he feels that training is just kind of a drudge. Like, uh, I don't want to go do it. And that's kind of how, how I look at it too. But the thing is, is you get out there, you go out there and you do it. And you get the training done because without the training, you know, bad things can happen. And you're just going to have a bad marathon and you can end up injured pretty badly and things like that. Let's see, a couple other things. He's, he's actually planning. He's kind of thinking of some other plans that he wants to do. He's thinking about running... Uh, a 50, 1500 meters on up through a, a marathon but he's not a, entirely positive he's not exactly sure what he's gonna do 
And he's also thinking about the World Masters Championship in Australia in October. This guy, I, I'm telling you, this guy's like a robot from the future. He is a robot from the future. He is, he's like the Terminator, is the way I see this guy. But this is pretty incredible. I really love reading stories like this because it's just such a nice, positive story. It's such a great influence. He's a huge influence on everybody and anybody in the runner's world. And I've only been running for three years now, and this is the first time I've heard of this guy. And I'm just, I'm inspired just by reading about him, and it's pretty incredible. I don't need to give you a link or anything like that. For one, this is in a Wall Street Journal article, so I'm never going to find the link for it. But if you go ahead and Google Ed, Ed Whitlock, I can tell you right now, you're going to find all kinds of hits. You're going to read about what I just read. You're going to see some YouTube videos and all kinds of stuff on this guy. I really urge you to go check it out because it is pretty cool. Let your kids watch it if you have kids and stuff like that. Get a little inspiration into their lives and things because we all know the world is a little crazy right now, especially with the elections coming up, and that's just going to be nuts all in itself. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a like, favorite, subscribe. And if you want to see some other gameplay footage of other games that I have, if you don't mind me throwing things up in there, you know, different stuff, uh, let me know and I can't say tell me what game to play because to be honest with you, I've, I've got a quite a few games, but I don't know, I just, I just kind of grab whatever. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one.